Hello, this is Andrew Dugill with Hoffman Realty, Tampa Property Management, and this is another in our helpful blog series for Tampa landlords. And this one is called Five Tips for the Smart Investor. Now, I've personally owned residential and real estate investment properties for over 30 years. And over the last 30 years, Hoffman Realty has managed thousands of residential real estate investment properties for other landlords. And these are my five tips for the smart investor. Tip number one is take a long-term view. Residential real estate is just a fantastic tool for building wealth over the long term. I've owned some residential real estate properties for over 30 years. And in that time, my, the value of the property has increased and my tenants have helped me pay off the mortgages, hence increasing my equity. Tip number two is that nothing works without a good tenant. There's no amount of good management or good landlordship that is gonna make up for having a poor tenant in your property. So price the property right and do a thorough background screening. And if you do those two things, you should be able to find a good tenant. Don't overprice your property or get desperate and accept someone that doesn't meet your criteria or you're probably going to have a very poor experience. Tip number three is smart investors keep the good tenant they currently have in the property. As real estate investors, when you lose a tenant, it costs you a lot of money. Not only do you have a vacancy, you also have to pay to find a new tenant, but you have to get your property rent ready again. And those costs can add up somewhere between two and five months rent is your cost when your tenant changes. So work really hard to keep the good tenant you've got. Treat him with respect, be very um, responsive to legitimate maintenance concerns, and don't lose a tenant over a rent increase. Tip number four, take sensible precautions to protect yourself from liability. The first thing you want to do is make sure your property is safe for your tenant. Have good insurance, and if you hire a property manager, don't just go for the cheapest, go for the one that operates your property with the lowest liability profile possible. Tip number five is operate your residential real estate property as a business and don't get emotionally involved. Now over time, there is always some turbulence from being a landlord. It comes with the territory from being a landlord. Maybe it's a tenant that breaks their lease and does a midnight move out. Don't get knocked off course by turbulence. Sometimes you just have to lick your wounds and move, move on. I've never made a good decision when it was an emotional one, whether I was mad, sad, or glad. So treat your rental property as a business and don't get emotionally involved. So these are my five tips for smart real estate investors. If you have questions about the blog today, we'd certainly be happy to hear from you. Thank you very much.